I am very happy to be here this weekend. It's very special. I know my husband, Joe Lieberman's been at many, and I've only come to a few, and this is the first time I've been here. And this place is gorgeous. I wanted to quickly, I know it's late, I know everyone gets tired and hungry. I wanted to quickly take you on a little discussion about colors, which represent darkness, the black, and lightness. And when I think about darkness, I think about, can you not hear me? Oh, okay, I'll do that, sorry. I'm always getting directions. Um, when I think about darkness, I think about where I was born in Prague, Czechoslovakia, to two parents who had fled my mother from Auschwitz and Dachau, my father from slave labor camp, and they made it and I was born. So I represent someone who, all my life I knew, I read, I heard about all the stories of terror and execution and deaths, the darkness, and I was born to them. And when I walked through the museum yesterday and I saw the darkness, the numbers of destruction, and I heard the voices of those who shared their stories from prison, from losing members of their family, their communities, and I saw the light in these eyes. And I'm not trying to be biased. Everyone had light. But the women who had light in their eyes struck me so clearly. They were so strong. Their lightness just came shining out. Their smiles, their transparency. And it made me say to them, you are very, very special. And part of what we need, and part of what we need in this world today is more light. And you have to be aware, and you probably already are, that every time you send light going out from you, it changes the darkness. And sometimes we're in certain situations where we're afraid to even shed light because it also shows our faces and we don't want to show them at that moment. But you know what? You're going to shed this light out to such an extent that they're gonna have no darkness to hide behind. You're gonna be the light that lights up the world. And as my husband and I, I know, have discussed many times in the past, the stories about how when you're thirsty and you drink water, it disappears after you drink enough. But if you light a candle to get away from the darkness, your light can be shared over and over and over again. So be brave and keep lighting up.